Hi all, welcome to another Chess24 Banter Blitz. Let me just mute over there. So I'm just going to show you the discount screen to start off with. So there's a whopping 15% off if you use the voucher code KINGS, KINGS plural, CRUSHER, one word. So that's my voucher code. You can get to play me and and all the other much higher rated <laughs> streamers, <laughs> but uh, you know, including International Masters, Grandmasters. And uh, you just challenge them 20 minutes beforehand and you're on the challenge list and I'm about to work my way through the first challenge now. I'm going to go to the, look at the challenges now. And Fuchs Rudel is the first challenge today. Whoa, I'm going to lower my volume a bit. Hello. Good morning, Fuchs Rudel. Okay, so I'll play Knight F6 Hypermodern. And uh, yeah, that's okay. Maybe maybe uh, d5, just in case there's a London system. I can play c5. Yeah, c5. Okay. Now, sometimes black can take this pawn back. It's kind of made white center a bit wobblier, actually, potentially. Uh, potentially. I wonder if e6 or getting the bishop out. I think e6 immediately just trying to get this pawn back should be okay. I hope audio and visual is okay. Please let me know in the chat. Hmm. So I'm taking this pawn now. Okay, my bishop's hemmed in. That is a key consideration. What to do about this bishop? Can I actually play for e5? If I get an e5, then there's e4. I could play rook e8 and give bishop f8 and also e5, e4 as up and coming uh, frets. Now e4 here seems awkward. f2 and b2 weak. You know, queen b6 hits f2 and b2. Uh, if e4, it is a bit of a weakening move. Also, I'm thinking actually just d takes because isn't. The bishop hanging if I take the queen and the knight takes. Uh, let's just check this once again. D takes, bishop takes, queen takes. Yeah, I, I think this is not possible actually. Uh, after queen takes, rook takes, knight takes. I've seen to have won a bishop. Yeah. Uh, I think I've won a bishop. I'm not getting back chromated just yet. The knight's covering d8. I'm on f2 now. Hmm. Okay, I'll take on f2 with the knight, I think, because this means that there's a discovered check to win the bishop. We'll take the rook here. Okay, thanks for the game, Fox Rudel. Uh, okay, Kaz. Let's try b3 here, my surprise weapon. b3, so. Uh, I'm putting a dark square grip here. Basically, Fisher once had a very fine looking game of video annotated on the King's Cross channel in B3. He made it look quite easy, B3. Um, I think I might have gained an informational advantage in this system because I, I once checked out a lot of Nakamura's games where he won a major blitz tournament with B3 and B6 or black. So, pattern exposure. But basically, it's a lot about controlling squares of a certain color. This pawn set doesn't seem too clever. And if I play d3, there's things like, like g4 with e3 in mind. So I can't play queen e1 to g3, which is something which might be desirable quite often. I could play h3 and then I'm weakening some dark squares. So that's the cost there. I think that might be overall something to think about h3, d3, then queen e1, then g4, queen g3, that sort of thing. So I'm going to go with that. So d3 to shield c2, queen e1 to go, to, may, maybe the queen's a bit artificial blocking the pawn, maybe g4 straight off the bat. And now e5 is going to try and expose weaknesses. I could play knight e5 here. On taking, taking knight e8, say, no, knight e8, there might be f6, but it's stretching my bishop out in the f6. I'm taking and extending the scope of the bishop. But e5 would open up my weaknesses here. I think knight e5 is important to keep a clamp 
on black playing e5 i think i'll play that so still the plan is queen e1 to g3 and then maybe g5 later and open up the g file something like king h1 rook g1 later this g file coordinating with the bishop on b2 i think this should be good good plan good attacking plan queen e1 queen g3 king h1 rook g1 g5 so how will this go queen e1 queen g3 king h1 rook g1 also using this rook might be handy as an option knight d2 king h1 rook g1 just in case uh something's going on over here or not just you know, it's a bit of a luxury to play knight d2 so king h1 rook g1 g5 mm, that is possible okay maybe knight d2 I, I didn't see that's that's an interesting move that's a very interesting idea very interesting okay um yeah the knight was stopping that on b1 okay um okay let's go ahead anyway with this kind of plan well I'm concerned now about Queen b2 actually that's probably almost winning a pawn actually because 95 takes I've got the Queen protecting the pawn um, okay my, my ambition here is to open this uh, G file so something like G5 coming up so G5 coming up trying to open the G file Queen b2 is now a concern. I just maybe I give up the a2 pawn. If I rook c1, let, let black have the queen in Siberia, so to speak. And then rook g1, then g5. And you see queen g5. Yeah, I think queen in Siberia time. And the queen's holding e5. On the queen's on a2, something like g5, queen g5, rook g1, for instance, say g6. It's going to be dangerous. That's going to be a very, very dangerous position for black, surely. This position here with this g file opened queen's a bit irrelevant for king's safety so, so queen in siberia looking at lila chess games recently i think queen g5 rook g1 okay so let's have a look at this position with rook g1 coming up this looks like great attacking potential it, i mean it's nice that black got rid of my attacking bishop uh in a way however However, it's not the end of the story. So attacking d2 here, I could reinforce, uh, yeah, protect this, reinforce e5 knight as well. So I, I think I want to play rook g1 and get some alignment going. I There was someone that, I'm not sure was even a great chess player or anything. They asked about what alignment was. And it made me think, hold on a sec, people do not talk about alignment if if they're into chess but actually like for me alignment actually might be a fundamental it seems for me a fundamental undertone when you double rooks you know the expression doubling rooks it's alignment it's just combining forces intensifying pressure so getting alignment on the g file potentially with three of these heavy pieces on g7 potentially let's see knight takes f7 i'm eyeing the rook on d8 there's also queen h5 just probing i think queen h5 just probing here looks strong and then potentially doubling the rooks aligning against g7 um so if i double on g7 well my immediate threat is queen takes f7 okay i'll renew that no the queen's protecting f7 now If I just double the rooks here, what would happen? There's no bishop e4 with the pawn here. Just double the rooks. Maybe g4 is more accurate for rook h4 because bishop g6, queen h8. So rook g4 as if to double rooks, but also supports rook h4 doubling on h file as well. Okay, there's also a rook sack here, which is almost tempting. I could calculate that check 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 if the king goes to e7 I don't, I don't think it's necessary and um, so I'm going to play this no this mind you knight f5 stops any naughty business mind you e4 later so that anyway knight f5 there could be e4 nudging the knight for rook h4 so if I if I double rooks and play e4 as long as there's no knight g3 check <laughs> that will fork king and queen but no if i double rooks i'm holding g3 later e4 
than rook h4. This is too much pressure to bear, I think. This is just far too much pressure to bear. So e4 is actually now a concern. Rook h4 is pre prevented. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Hmm. If I'm playing e4 here, takes takes I'm threatening almost like rook g7 almost. There might be a calmer way of playing things here. Just I think the calmer knight h4 just to take away this defensive knight. So knight h4 coming up. Although I have realised something about this. That queen f7 seems remarkably as if it forces the queens off the position. Yeah, that, that's a bit of a downer. Hmm. <laughs> the queens come off, don't they? I can still play e4 after and then rook g7 though. Hang on, let's play e4. Got to watch out for bishop e4 check here. Uh, but other than that, a rook coming to g7 is decisive because I'll be picking up the bishop potentially. So e4 takes takes knight d4. I play rook takes g7 check. Yeah, the alignment has worked, I think, against g7. Yeah, I, I know we usually call that doubling rooks, but I think the, the, the concept of alignment is even more fundamental because you might want to trouble, you might want to coordinate a bishop. You just want to align pieces to a point. Very, very powerful. So e4 takes. So rook takes g7 coming up. All right, peace given up. I get access to h4 here. There's bishop c4 check as well. Hold the d file for a moment. And there's bishop f5 now. Okay. I can swap off things. Okay, thanks for the game, Kaz. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, did I change it? I'll play b3 again. Okay. Yeah, it's quite a fun opening sometimes. Alright, so shielding, blunting, nah, not blunting. Blunting would be f6 or something like knight h6 to f7, which I played Blitz game once against Nakamura. He did that and <laughs> crushed me quite badly. <laughs> it was fun though to play him. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, I did play this system against Nakamura himself. Uh, once uh, okay so knight g e2 h3 is interesting i think with the idea f4 now so not to cast because i lose h3 but this idea potentially i'm threatening f5 trapping that bishop Hmm, you can see a few tactics here. Castling bishop h3, bishop c6. There's no queen c6 thing, but it just takes that. But if that was cast, if the king was over there, then that, that would be an issue. That sort of tactic. If my But that's not exploitable. There's another idea with these two pieces here. d4, d5. d4, d5. Okay, I think I will take here. So d4, d5. F D five C four D C D five castles. Okay, what about D three here or G four? D three holds some key squares and that E four coming up. And if the okay, bishop moves a uh, castle here now. Oh, there is bishop F six and knight D five. Well, there was I think here or here knight C three for D five control. That looks interesting. G5, knight, D5. I want F7 potentially. 
this uh, file could be useful. There's another issue about this position. This B4 knight takes is interesting to think about for the B file. I'm trying to align the bishop with the rook on B7. Just B4, pawn sack. Yeah, I think B4 as a pawn sack looks dangerous. Try and get some pressure on B7. So that's avoided. Fine. I'm officially protecting B4 now. So I'll be hitting F7, but with a view B5 that weakens A7. So I'm hitting F7, but B5, Bishop D4, let's say King B8, something like C4, Queen A4, are we on A7 after? I think B6, there's always Queen A4 to A6 as well. So let's, let's see. First of all, b5 to weaken a7, then something like bishop d4 and c4 and queen a4. Actually, d4, there's knight c4. Is c4 actually possible? Any queen b5, there's knight e7. c4, g4, h4. There's knight f3 there, bishop f3, rook f3. That seems safe enough. Does it? Or h3 is loose. Maybe g4, just stop all this. Yeah, maybe g4 just stops all this. h5 as an example. d4, there's knight c4. Okay. Yeah, I think I can try and stop all the play with g4 and just allow h5 as a, as a necessary evil. That's more desirable than g4 and knight f3 trying to open up the g file. I mean, tr trying to keep a lock and key on black's play here. Before, before carrying on over this side. So g4 and knight f3 might have been an attempt <clears throat> to activate the rook, keep this rook locked in, keep the bishop locked in, whilst trying to play for c4 and something like queen a4. But also, yeah, bishop d4 could be handy. Putting the king on b8, c4, then queen a4. So bishop d4 first to try and tempt either the king moving. Okay, let's try and tempt the king to move. Then there's like c4 and queen a4. If the king was on b8, then rook b1, knight b4 to c6 is also coming strong. I ha Okay, let's see. So c4, queen a4, try and provoke b6, then there's knight b4 to c6. Or even taking first there and then knight c6. So queen a4, let's have a look at so yeah, knight b4 to c6 of b6. There's also a positional exchange sack here, rook f5. If you've ever taken that opens up that bishop. This seems far too dangerous for black's king safety, this b file. I would say that's that's looking too dangerous. Uh this looks very, very attacking position. I would be surprised if there isn't something spectacular here. Queen a4, c takes, the knight's holding the queen, which seems to be plausible. What about bishop takes? Any takes, takes, there's always d6 on the cards as well. I mean, taking out e5 here is interesting. Any d6, that's mating. That's the piece that's holding the black position. Steady, I think. If ever I get C D E D and D six, that's like mating. So here I think D six is like mating. Okay, I think I have to take Okay, I didn't see that, but this looks like a vicious attack anyway. I can try and just make sure there's no dangerous pawn moves with bishop f6 for a moment. So let's see, queen, queen b3. Right. Let's just actually let's, let's get out of the check for a moment. Put some pressure again on B six maybe. All right now I'm playing for um 
uh, B6 pressure, I think. Actually, wasn't there Rook F7 out of interest? Okay, um, okay, okay, A5 for Rook A1. <laughs> um, I'm streaming here, guys. I'm streaming. <laughs> Sorry about the background. I don't know if you're hearing anything. I'm hoping this microphone only picks up <laughs> the foreground. Okay. Okay. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Let's try and open up this B file. <laughs> Rook B1. Okay, let's get the heavy mob in. Rook B1. Okay, it was a dangerous attack. <laughs> Okay, thanks, thanks. Um, oh dear. Um, everything was peaceful in the house earlier, and then I start streaming. Uh, I don't know. Try and make things clearer, you know, like close the lid on the green bin. I actually put a book with a post it note, close the lid. Yeah, and I just try and make things clearer and clearer, <laughs> and you know, it's all ruined. All the plans. I think I have mentioned about this time being a peaceful time, but no, it's totally ignored again. I don't know. Do I have to put post-it notes around the house? Okay. Anyway, so knight c3. Okay. Ah, <sighs> <laughs> my glasses just fell off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was meaning to fix my glasses. Oh, great. Right, this this, this stream is turned pear-shaped. Right. Ah. Yes, I've been meaning to fix these glasses as well. Ah. Wrong. Yes, they finally fell off during his stream. <laughs> okay, okay. Um... What's going on here? <laughs> so Queen E2. I'll, I'll try. Oh, okay. Bishop A6 coming up. <laughs> try and open up the B file. <clears throat> Great. Uh, it's really going well today. Okay, B takes is too much pressure on um, D file, I think. Or not. I think I'll do it anyway. It's a battle of opening lines. Is my bishop a liability? I'm hoping that bishop's not going to be trapped. If I have knight e5 here, that could be dangerous. If I kick this, there's knight c7. Okay, I can take that though. Misplaced, I've displaced the king. <clears throat> D4. Maybe D4 is too weakening. 
Okay. I don't want to take on C6. I think that helps black because of the battery. Maybe A4. A5 coming up. Queen D seven. Okay. for here <clears throat> uh, I'm hoping I've got some pressure here on the a file If I double, treble, alignment, treble. Okay, try and keep this closed for a moment, this G file. Uh, my treble on H2 coming up with G4. Oh, crikey, I have to play something like G3 to hold H2 soon. Queen H7 or G3 now. Okay, so we're in balance, are we? Knight G2 to F4. So holding A7, I'm trying to hold H2 as well. Can I balance this equation, Knight G2 to F4? Unbalance the equation. Knight g2 to f4. What would this do? Anything? Well, it would be nice maybe to have the dark square bishop. e5, there's knight d5. Okay, I've blunted that bishop at least. Maybe d5, maybe d5, e5, e5 knight e6. Alright, takes, there's knight d5 there. On e5. Bishop takes b6 is not doing anything. All right. Um, use the e pawn. Maybe bishop e3. If e takes, there's bishop f4, which should be useful, shouldn't it? Okay, is there C5? I'm not, not helping. Uh, queens come off. B takes. Not helping. Rook eight. Uh, may, maybe. Uh, may, something like this. Non committal for a moment. <clears throat> now what? Actually, you can contest the centre file with rook d7. Uh, so my rooks are kind of awkward. Okay, okay. Now here, here's probably better. Although there's e takes f now. How about bishop f2? I don't want to take with g pawn. Bishop f2. Right, got a pin there. Oh, there's finally rook a7. Finally. So there's rook eight eight check here. Now if queen king b seven there's okay. Uh, I can take here. Or uh yeah the rooks are coming down, are they? The rooks are coming down. Um 
or not. I'm not sure they are because I'm controlling F2. No, they might be actually. Okay, let's just take here instead. The rooks are coming down to the second rank, but any bishop b6, there's king b7. Uh, if I just take your and take on f6, that could be interesting. We'll just just protect my second rank actually against this the, the rooks on the seventh. Uh, the rooks on the eighth. I'm, I'm holding g1, so I don't think it's mating if they double pin. All right, that was a pretty tough game. Um, well played. <sighs> okay, pawn holder, GM. Okay, um, do, do I throw away B3? Uh, I wonder. Uh, uh, let's see how instructive this is <laughs> with B3 against Jim. Yeah, it'd probably have a great treatment against that. Otherwise, it would be a mainstream opening. Okay, maybe this is okay. You four and ninety two. Well, it could be worse. I think the start position. E four ninety two is a bit of a French defence structure. I can play probably Bishop E two to stop the use of G four, maybe G four myself. A three. Well, does he want to take on D two? Doesn't really want to give up that bishop, surely. I can put my bishop on this diagonal later, so it's a kind of reverse French defence. Knight C three and then G four. It looks like reverse French defence with some benefits right now. This is a big uh, knight sack coming up. E4 looks a bit vulnerable. Yeah, this looks like a thumb position. Look over that, that G file. Open up that G file. Maybe Bishop D three here. Queen C two, castle queen side. Oh H two is a big problem. That's a good point. H two is a big problem. Uh, I don't know if I get any time now. I put my attack intentions on hold. I think I can't move because of Queen E3. I seem to have lost position here. Mm, looks lost. There's no F3, there's no knight move. That looks as though uh, I have to play a piece down. Queen C3 on A5 and G7, potentially. And Bishop F6, Queen A5, and there's Bishop B2 after. Hmm, I'm missing something tactically. I'm not sure. Uh, um.
So Queen C3 does Bishop F6 and B2 drops. Yeah, this doesn't look, still doesn't look that good. Queen A4 is an alternative. Hits A5 and E8 for Rook G7 for Queen E8. Maybe Queen A4 is interesting. So rook g7 with queen e8, bishop d3, rook d3, bishop f6, bishop f6, queen f6, queen a8, queen e8. You can take out this bishop with rook b2, then queen f6, king c2, e8 will be hanging. Bishop d3, rook d3. This is interesting. I don't know if he's overlooked this. Uh, so might have been expecting queen c3. There was bishop f6. But queen a4, bishop f6, I can just take. If queen takes, queen takes. If rook takes, queen takes, knight. Bishop takes, rook takes. Let's have a look again. Rook b2, king b2. Check. King c2. Let's take this further. Bishop d3, rook d3, hold d3. Okay. Bishop d3, rook g7. Queen g7, queen e8. Actually, otherwise, rook c2 would be dangerous. If I can, if it's all running with check, that's better. Okay, there's no rook g7 here. E8's hanging. No, it's not. Okay, so rook b1, queen c3 is also threatened. I think bishop takes queen c3 is mating. King d2, queen c3, king e2. King d2, queen c3, king e2. If his queen comes in, his rook's hanging after. Yeah, that is a way of playing it though. That looks that looks pretty bad news. Yes, that is pretty bad news. I, yes, it is indeed. I don't think there's any more tricks here now. Tricks are run out. King takes, queen takes. Yeah. I think the tricks have run out. I resign there. I think I can't see anything. But let's have a quick look at something. Well played. <laughs> this I think it's probably too dangerous, right? Equal. This is equal. Maybe it's not. Oh, is there something better here? Bishop f3. Then taking. Queen e2. It's all too dangerous. I think this whole take on e4 is far too dangerous. So when I took that, I think it says that feels better. But that looks like a poison pawn. Yeah, this whole bishop h4 business is really dangerous. h5, it looks as though theoretically here. That puts a lock on some of the tactics. Which happened in the game. So I think I exploded Black's pieces out of their box. When I took this pawn, I didn't realize this is really cool. This whole Bishop takes h4. Went still apparently okay. Oh, so I made things worse. A d5 
Okay. Interesting game. Thanks. <clears throat> It's done. Okay. So I'm trying to plump my bishop or not. So I'm playing as a sort of gambit here uh, with b6 coming up. So compensation wise, I got more central pawns. Um, so he's not taking that yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure where my conversation is exactly. Uh, let's see, Queen C7 though. For a blitz game, I think there's enough com in general <laughs> compensation. Um, actually, I've noticed something. F4. Yeah, knight h5 to f4. And d5 is a problem. If I took first on e4, then knight h5 to f4. Okay, I think there is something going on now which could be of interest to me here. Um, this rook or this rook? Maybe this rook. Bishop around. Isn't there Knight G Frey coming up? I should have considered that. Hold on. And there's a Queen F2. Mm, doesn't do anything at the moment. Something to consider. No, it does. The d no, Knight's holding the Bishop. Knight e5 is more to the point. This diagonal seems painful. If he castles queen size, oh, blimey. Knight g3 here. Or knight e5. Knight e5 looks as though there's going to be bishop g3 with this diagonal pointing at g2. And there's knight a6. Hold on. Oh, knight a6 after. Hmm. I uh, if I move my king. Um <laughs> if I move my king, uh, I don't know, I don't know.
This knight a6 is a concern. Isn't that just winning a piece, knight a6? If I took. Uh, maybe I have to take with the queen. I can't see an answer to knight a6. <laughs> the queen's protecting the bishop, but the queen cannot protect the bishop there. I think I have to play this. Mm. Yeah, this isn't good. Oh, it's even stronger, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's even stronger. Well, this looks pretty hopeless now. Yeah, this looks hopeless. See, for a moment there. Hmm. Yes. I thought there's much chance here. You swindle chance. Any swindle chance. I think G fours are mating that. Oh. Four is, is that anything? I don't think I'm just going to mate it with G four and King G two and then Rook H six. So I don't think F four is really helping at the moment. Um, I'll try it here. I think I'm in a sort of mating that. I'm just getting mated G4 <laughs> and then and then C7 I'm, mate, I'm in the mating that I was trying for F3 that was the only thing I was trying for, I don't think it really does anything G4 King H and then C7 oh okay I'm playing for F3 now a bit For it all. Oh, I think I was in the mating that. Uh, I think could have won that much quicker with <laughs> there's the mating that surely. Uh, what I played for that desperate form pawn, I think could have been extinguished. G4. I thought I was just getting mated. If I go here, surely this and this and this 
is mating. It's plus nine here. So, so yeah, I play any move. There's, I think there's just c7 and then mating. I thought that was a quick way to finish in a blitz game. That might be important. A quick way to finish. Okay, so I, I lucky to swing the draw <laughs> on time. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. No, no, it was, it was. I don't know. I had, I had such high hopes from earlier from the gambit. Yeah, I had such high hopes. All smashed. <laughs> I thought the game was really cool. <laughs> Apparently, it wasn't. Apparently, I don't know. The harsh reality sometimes. Oh, I don't know. Uh, oh, dear. Ah. <clears throat> uh. Mm, I think B5 here. I think weather conditions are very hard today. My glasses keep steaming up because I've just realised the room temperature is quite cold today. <laughs> and this, this is probably explains why my glasses keep steaming up. I'm wondering, you know, about this. Yeah. Okay. So anyway. Uh, okay. I do have such a thing called a fire. I think I might an electric heater. I might, might turn it on when it works for a moment. Hold on a sec. Excuse the background noise. It is actually working, isn't it? <clears throat> Now queen d2 knight c5 <clears throat> It's cold in here yeah I'm just trying to warm things up here yes warm things up Queen d2 there's always knight c5 fine How about e4 is e4 terrible Knight d4, knight takes, e takes, knight b5, chaos ensues. There might be bishop c1 to slip in. Oh, what do I calculate here? Takes, takes, knight b5, takes, takes, knight c5. Isn't there bishop takes d4 there? Okay, I can play knight b5 here anyway. There's no c6. I want to be able to play f4 and snap off his bishop. Surely. Hang on, I'm not threatening c7 that knight. f4 takes, takes, he's got fg, knight g3. Takes, queen d4 check, something like that. Or what about just simply f4 anyway, just with the idea of g takes. Snap off the bishop, then queen d4 check. Okay, in this case, f takes then, and then d6. Looks good. Or does it? Is he creating a liability on e2 the way he's played it? He's creating a liability on e2. Queen takes d6. Queen e2. Queen d7. Oh, d6 is tempting. I have to say d6 is still mildly tempting. 
Isn't that just a pesky queen? What about bishop f3 here? And then d6. This might save a load of hassle. Queen h6, there's even bishop c1. Let's, let's just slip in this for a moment. Oh, hang on. No, there's always f pawn and then h3 issue. Come on to e takes f now. Peace takes, there's always, isn't there g4 after? Let's try this. Isn't there an idea of g4? Knight takes g4. Bishop takes. There's no g4, bishop g4. Bishop takes. Okay, bishop takes. Rook c1. For a moment. Oh, he's got bishop g4 now. Do I have to do something poxy like rook c2 here? Bishop G four Rook C two What about if I just funny enough stop Bishop G four with knight C three for a moment? Any C six later, okay. Let's just play knight C three. Try and play this position, Nate, to stop Bishop G four, blockade on E four. Just lock down the pieces in the pawn structure. Knight E four locks down the bishop in the pawn structure. Just think positionally. Knight takes knight b5. Doesn't do anything. g4. Let's just kick this bishop out of here for a moment. The knight e4. Does it matter about knight b5? Knight takes d6, knight e4. That looks attractive. Knight c5, knight c5, d6. There's rook f2 on the on the way. Let's turn this off. Knight takes d6. There's always rook f2. Okay, king g3 or king g1. Maybe king g1. Let's hold f2. I've got a nice pass pawn potentially. Let's hold against e4. Let's double against e5. So rook e2, double the rooks. a4, b4. Okay, rook d3. No, there's no doubling of rooks. Yes, there is. Maybe there is. Okay, it's chipping my pawns away. Bishop e5 threatened. There's bishop, f, bishop g3 here. If I let him have the exchange, it's probably too much. Uh, D6. Right, so maybe D7 and Bishop C6. Uh, okay, there's Rook E3 as well. There's a Bishop F2 there, King F2. Uh, bishop g4 check, king e1, bishop c2 check. Okay, uh, what about bishop d5 for a moment and rook g2, h4. Uh, let's just put that back for a moment. Okay, hold on a sec. I need to think what I'm doing here. This one. Rook e5, bishop e5, that pawn is pinned to the king here. Bishop e5. Uh, d7, distraction. There's rook d6. Okay. Um. Oh, well, OK, 
Okay, <laughs> that was an interesting game. Whew. Uh, yeah, there were some tricks there, I think, like bishop f2. Okay, it was very complicated, actually. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what I can say about that. Okay, I tried to keep a lid on black's pieces, basically. I tried to keep a lid on it with the e4 uh, stuff. Okay. So knight c6, which I've read a bit about from Watson's Dangerous Weapons in the French book. It looks okay at the moment. F5 is a safety point if these sacks on the diagonal actually looks too dangerous. I'll take that, I guess. Okay, um, maybe G takes. Bishop H6, Rook F7, Bishop G6, though. Bishop f6, queen d3. Maybe there is um, knight takes is is maybe maybe needed. This doesn't look very healthy though. The pawn doesn't look very healthy. Maybe bishop a6 is an idea. Or bishop b7. Bishop B7 with Queen D5. He has got a nice like Queen spawn, but this pawn looks like bad. Visually, I don't know functionally. Bishop B7, Queen D5. Bishop B7 and Queen D5. That's all I can see. Mm, that's a bit of a pain if that's working. Um, probably should carry on. Just ignore it. Or maybe that was a bad idea. Mm, could have been a bad idea. I'm starting to think it is not, this is not the best, maybe I'm starting to think, okay. Sneaking suspicion. This is not going my way. Hold on a sec. Sneaking suspicion. There's a check. Knight f4. It's not possible. That rook seems to be getting lost here. <laughs> this doesn't look good. Okay. Um, yeah, well, it's a nice checkmate to put on the board. 
nice well played <laughs> yeah i i think somehow i i misplayed that somehow but let's just see where exactly i totally lost the plot according to the computers I have to play G5. It reckons G. That's bad news. If G5 is better than Castling, <laughs> yeah. uh, White's much better with apparently Queen A4 of all moves. Why would that be the case? No, then I could. Right, let's see. I okay. I have to play super aggressively. I don't think my king is actually safer on E8. Yes, my king is actually safer on E8 here. It seems than the game. <laughs> Yeah, this whole pawn wedge is, is about h7. It does seem very easy for white to do this without me doing anything. I don't think I could do anything yet. I think this is already. Let's just rewind back a bit further for a bit of more diagnosis. <laughs> check. This could help this in this line. This check taking out the dark square bishop just for future reference. Is that I don't, it's still this issue of this battery later, isn't there? Let's say white castles. All right, maybe this is an improvement. <laughs> this is this is a way to play it. Maybe the check, and then I think I think the idea is to play. For casting queenside, even I think maybe I can even just cast it on the other side of the board. That would be cheeky. So, so White's position was clearly lost because of the isolated queen spawn, but it was just proving it. It was a slightly difficult to prove this. <laughs> you see, clearly Black is better here. This will be positionally good. Look, Black's even getting a smaller advantage here now on my valuation. <laughs> so anyway, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, if I play Bishop F five for a moment, hmm. is he good at put it as well? Yeah, okay. Uh, If I played e6 here, does this hold the fort for a moment? Okay, now queen d7, is that a move? Just to try and double the rooks. <clears throat> Knight b6 is not a threat, is it? Knight e4 might be tempting. I'm hoping knight b6 is not a threat. Knight e4, is that tempting? So, d takes or bishop takes? d takes, threatening bishop takes. Any advantage on bishop takes? Bishop takes supports rook c2. That is handy. Knight c5, there's rook c5. Okay, I'll go with this. Is there rook c2 to insert here? That's queen h6, nope. Knight c5, I can pin with queen c7, knight e4, rook c1. Right, so queen takes here, it stops. Okay, rook c1. Maybe bishop f5, hold the bishop for a moment, and then b6. Oh no, there's rook c1 and there's knight d3. 
If I want the c file, I have to play b6 immediately because bishop f5, rook c1, b6, knight d3. Maybe this is the way to play it. Knight a6, queen c2, bit of play. Well, I'm hoping there was a bit of play. It's a bit of a quick evaluation. <laughs> I'm hoping this is a little bit of play for the pawn. Yeah, it looks as though the knight has to stumble back. We double attacking two pawns sometimes. Sometimes black is mating. If rook d1 takes mating with rook c1. So, okay, surely there's a little bit of compensation here. Um... Queen e3, maybe uh, rook c3, queen f4 for e5. Okay, rook c3, I can push the queen away for queen e2. Play a check after. Rather than taking that pawn on a2, it might be better. I don't know. What does he do with that knight? Knight b4. I, I think it's more convincing here to play. Rook c3, although there is knight b4 in that case. Taking on e2 seems attractive. Would he really do that? Okay, let me just try this. Queen e2 hits the knight actually on a6. Now f6 like takes, I take the knight. There's no check. So queen e5, f6. The knight's hanging. Knight b4. Knight b4. f6 on knight b4. Stop queen e5. There's no queen c7. f6 provides support for g5, almost trapping the queen. There's no escape back with the queen. Knight b4, f6 to try and trap the queen. There's queen b8. His queen goes too far, He'll probably get mated soon on the light on darts on light squares, queen f3. In fact. So to recap, check f6 takes, I take the knight. Knight b4, f6 anyway, threatening g5. Queen moves queen f3 mating. Now is f6, is there a snag? Can't see it. It supports g5 for queen f3. Let's renew g5 to nudge this little queen away from f3. Oh, it's perpetual check time. That's the snag. Can I play? I wonder if I can play g5 check, king g6, queen e8. Try and. Am I getting mated or something? Put my king on f5. Check, king g4, f3, I can always take. Check, king g6, queen e8, king f5, queen h7, king g4. Any f3 I can take on f3, the knight's not helping. Key point, knight's away from the action. If my king can make a run for it here. h5, queen h5 threatens mate on h1. Check, queen f7. Okay. I can take with the king or the queen. Queen, I lose my queen to check. Taking with the king is better, it seems, overall. I didn't lose the queen, it's bishop g6. There's bishop g6 here. Okay, is king g is king g4 possible? Queen e6, 
Oh, bishop f5, I lose the queen there. Bishop g6, queen f6. Maybe bishop g6 is the best idea here. I'm almost threatening rook g3, almost. King g6. Hang on, hang on. Queen e6, there's f5. f3, king g3, threatening queen g2. King g, there's Fink, king g4, check. f5, f5, f5. Oh, Isn't there rook g3 here for queen g2 mating? It's here, check and a mate. King h2, rook h3, rook h1. FG Queen G two. <sighs> okay. Oh, did I miss Rook G three earlier? Okay. I was a bit worried about my king losing my queen in variations. Okay, I had some worries. That's why I'm distracted. With my king's under attack, I I'm not thinking about checkmating the opponent sometimes. I'm thinking about not being checkmated myself. That's the thing. Um so yeah, this is or just to put this on the board here there's a coordination that was a good attacking i thought it was a fun game thanks thanks for that fun experience okay chess cadet um okay oh this is fast and furious three minute gamer can I put it into standard King's Engine Pawn Storm territory? Or is he going to play D takes? And it doesn't. Okay, he had that option of the obnoxious D takes. I shouldn't talk about that. That's the, the thing you shouldn't talk about. That should keep top secret that what King's Engine players want and what they don't want is D takes E5. It's It shouldn't be told. And I've just told it. Okay, okay. Forget it. Anyway. Forget, forget you heard me say that. No, it's it's wonderful when they close the center. It's really, it's really the most dangerous plan. Okay, so uh, knight g6, and then and then uh, okay, let's get, let's get an attack here. H5, knight g4, or something. Uh, c6 or queen b6. Knight g4. And there's always h3. Can I get this g file ready? Bishop h8, knight g4. Well, okay, isn't there knight g4 here? If takes and then bishop d4 wins the exchange, if nothing else. Let's see, what does he do about d4? Okay, isn't that e3? Isn't this interesting? This e3 for rookie 8. Okay, put the knight back. I suppose there's maybe knight h5 coming up. Um, let's hold the d4 with a pawn. d4 is going over a pawn. Play for b5, maybe. b4. Try and disrupt central control with b4. Um, I think it's interesting. a5, a4 is also interesting. Try and extend the scope of this. Uh, rook. Okay, so e3 can be targeted. Maybe queen e7 is worth it at some point. If that is attacked again, but a4 is incoming for a b for rook a3. Also, there's an idea h5, knight g4 on the cards. There's another idea here a4. Try and get a pass pawn or b takes. What about just b takes? Uh, maybe he's, he's trying to get that c3 square. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I'll try this. I'll try and get a pass pawn. That looks interesting. A2 is threatened. Potential pass pawn. Right, C5 looks a juicy square. If I can get a knight there. Okay, maybe I'm losing my, my pawns here. 
Knight G4 coming up. <clears throat> trying to weaken the light squares. If I can get this bishop back, the light squares will be weakened. I hope. Bishop f5 to e4. Oh no, 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 no. I just, just gave up. Bishop, I was moving too quickly. Ah! <laughs> No, it looks hopeless. Mind you, hold on a sec. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look good now. It was looking good earlier. Oh no. Oh, I'm just going to get mated. Um, desperate. Um, is there no way? Hmm. I'm losing another piece over there. It's all crazy. I think I after losing the piece on F five, <laughs> that was just that was just mental. Uh, okay, if we just quickly go back to where where I lost the piece on F five, I thought I was okay. I was I was happy about the position around about here. No, I, I don't think oh, this bishop is causing trouble. Though this whole plan, I could have just... If I just do this, just... Yeah, I, okay, my queen side evaporated. That can't be good for black. This isn't... Oh, this bishop takes d4 here. So apparently... Oh, it's chaos... Does the bishop go here? So massive blunder coming up. Bishop f5. Um, this position, bishop g4, was okay. Well, it was at least equal. I thought I was doing okay, and then ah, okay. Um, mm, mm, <laughs> yeah, maybe I go here. Maybe I go here. <clears throat> Just wondering, knight g5 here, here takes, starts to get nasty.
what's going on here? D4 gives me a plan of knight a4 to c5, which would open up the bishop. I think I'll go with that for a moment. Knight a4 to c5. So b4, knight a4 to c5. Any taking, I have queen d4 as well. That'd be a nice position to aim for. So b4, okay, some sort of attack is happening over here. Maybe king h. I don't know what the concrete threat is after queen g6 though. All right, so stopping knight a4. All right, let's see file for a moment. And just just wait here for a moment. What is it? Is the idea of knight g4? I might snap that off. Uh, e4 and b5. I lose b. Okay, lose that one. What about this for a moment? Queens. A4 b5 without losing b4. All right. So g5 is on the way. Maybe I can play g3, g takes, e takes. This bishop looks relevant to the diagonal sometimes. <clears throat> okay, h4. Often tights with rook g1 at the moment. Rook g1. Maybe knight d1 to e3 is an idea. And then bishop a3. This, this bishop locked in at the moment. Bishop a3 coming up. h4, knight e3. So h4 is dangerous. How about h4? It's a radical way of closing the position. h4. g3 is weak. Knight g4. This might be the way to go to stop any h4 break. Knight e3, especially bishop g4, would force a pawn on this second exchange. Pawn to close. King h2 coming up. Nice bishop. It's probably uh, stuff like bishop f4. Okay, rook c5, rook c6. Knight f2 to h3 to g5, hold on a sec. This would lock down the counterplay. Wouldn't it? I've got to connect the rooks to bishop f4, doubles the rooks, this is nasty. My queen is at the moment on g3. I want to get knight g5 in. Okay, this is sack an exchange. I assume he does. Um... If I just ignore things for a moment and just play for b6, rook c6 and b6, there's no knight f2 or knight e3. So I'm holding up f4. Why can't I play b6 to try and loosen these bishops for a skewer with rook c6? So b6, trying to loosen these bishops. What's his threat? What's his threat? So queen b6, I'll be putting the pressure on knight g5 now. Pinned piece. I've just allowed knight f2 check like a muppet. Why not take first? Okay, I'll take now. 
better than this okay I'm hitting c7 now he's holding c7 with the rook on g7 f5 of interest rook g1 for f5 f5 at the moment I don't think does anything I can maybe f5 here Fred is now f5 Uh huh. Let's just do a tactic downside with rookie six. Oh, there's bishop d7. Tactical downside for me. Okay, bishop d7. Great. I was thinking something else. <laughs> mm. And there's rook h6 now, though, the way he's played it. Bishop d7, there's rook h6. Think about this. All right, there's Queen B six. Right. Can I, can I put some pressure on? Oh, there's E three incoming. There's rook f6 here. Try rook f6 for a moment. And f5. 32 seconds. I've just allowed h4, haven't I? King g2, g2 uh, h, rook, rook h1. What's wrong with rook g6? 20 seconds. What's wrong with rook g6? Okay. Eighteen. What take on e eight? Queen e five. No! <laughs> Why am I just take his queen? Oh. <laughs> oh I could have just taken his queen. Oh dear. Oh dear. Ah. Okay. Ah. Blunders. And time. I was in big time pressure. <laughs> well played. Okay, that was a fun week. <laughs> that was that was harder than usual. Average opposition harder than usual. Thanks very much. And um. Yeah, see you next week. <laughs> Great, okay. Thanks very much. See you next week. Have a nice weekend. Rest of the weekend. Cheers then.